In this video, I give you a tour of my newly updated live work video production studio loft and show you the challenges it took getting there. If you want to skip ahead to the final tour, you can find the chapter time codes as well as the price links to all products shown in the description below. All right, so basically I'm trying something a little different today. I'm actually going to try vlogging. So the plan is to sort of take this area and make it my production area. I've also got a new neon sign, which you can see in the the background here and I've actually renovated this wall here and put a neon sign up there. I do have a video, a neon sign buyer's guide that's going to be coming up that basically showcases the transformation of those two walls and everything you'd want to know about buying a neon sign. My gear room has basically become a bit of a storage area. Check this out. This room is just an absolute mess full of product and boxes of things I have to get to, including this beautiful brand new desk, which is the sponsor of this video. The desk is the foundation of any great setup. If you're looking for a new desk, I highly recommend you check out FlexiSpot. They have an amazing selection of transforming standing desks in different styles with an array of tabletop options to fit the vibe with a large selection of colors and materials for the actual desktop. I can tell you the Flexi FlexiSpot desks are using some high quality components for their motorized frames. FlexiSpot sent over their E5 desk frame and I chose the bamboo tabletop as the size perfectly fit. They also have a ton of accessories to complete your setup, such as the cable management tray, which is essential for plugging in a power bar and connecting all your components to. I personally tested this desk setup to see if I could lift my weight and it handled just fine. Overall, the desk setup looks great and functions well. A big thumbs up from me. If you're looking to purchase, hit those deal links in the description below. Now back to the vlog. The plan is to make this room functional, take out all the boxes, reorganize, rearrange. First things first, I'm going to be optimizing my streaming setup. This is the video board right here. The plan is to run 350 foot cables under the desk along the baseboards they will go into this little box right here Running and hiding 350 foot cables under my desk through my already existing cable management was a lot more time consuming than you might think. Woo! Definitely starting to break a bit of a sweat now. Running the HDMI cables which are now all sitting here. Day two now. All right. It's coming down my cabinet. Oh yeah. Boom. So today I want to try to run the uh, the cable covers along the baseboards, which is going to mean disassembling this corner. <laughs> Alright, so the cables are all installed here. On to the next thing. Boom, making a quick time decision. Buying a pegboard, accessory kit, a label maker. Take this corner here. We're gonna put the pegboard up here and make like an awesome charging station slash station for my gear along with these three cabinets. The place is a disaster zone right now, but you gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelet, I guess, so. Yeah, okay. Day three now, the great organization is underway. I've actually already done two of these already. Well, I'm certainly in the thick of it now. It's just an absolute overwhelming experience to try to go through all of your gear and sort it into these drawers. 
and figure out what goes where. And, and this isn't even all of it, but yeah, I'm trying to do an entire overhaul, basically. Sorting a thousand items while at the same time creating a system of organization and categorizing takes a surprising amount of brain power. There was so much stuff on this floor just yesterday. To be honest, I still have quite a ways to go in emptying out the rest of it. Okie dokie, after unpackaging this big boxes, we've successfully mounted the monitor onto our C-stand here with the nice little laptop tray. So this whole setup will be very handy for the live streams. Light back on. Alrighty, everything is now installed, wired up, one plug to plug in, which will then power the key light, the monitor, and I usually run another uh, video camera mounted. Grab a cable, everything is working, monitor is good, cables are all going to be running and going to be nicely tucked in this corner. So I've basically removed 70 to 80% stuff from the gear room. Goal is to just get organized, getting rid of stuff I don't need or don't use anymore. This entire box here is filled with product, so I'm going to go through that today. This entire box here is full of Galaxy projectors. Get this organized, tackle some more uh, Galaxy projector videos, just a ton of other gear and accessories that I have to go through as well as optimize this space. I'm trying to redo these shelves so I have place to put products that are incoming and I can create a new workspace. So essentially this shelf has to come down so the walls can be patched and painted. A lot to be done. So the gear room is now coming along. I've pretty much emptied everything out and the plan is to now make this into another workstation. Okay, so I'm actually gonna test out the FlexiSpot desk. I weigh 200 pounds. Building out the new setup, components, lighting, mounting, and more super fun cable management. Okay, so I'm just doing the lighting for the second desk setup here. We can actually see the LEDs in the reflection of the cabinet. And with LED strips, you're not supposed to actually see the LED lights. You're just supposed to see the reflected light. So I gotta find a solution. Pegboard behind me has come in. I'm just unboxing and this side of the pegboard here looks to be pretty bent up. Yeah, that could be a potential problem. Okay, slowly but surely, things are starting to come along. I've now taken out all of the boxes from my gear room and I've started going through them, condensing them, trying to make more space. Those bags are mostly garbage. I ordered a new pegboard to replace the damaged one as I've also redone the bedroom as well to make some more storage for things. Okay, new day got a replacement pegboard. It just arrived. So these ones are looking in much better shape than the first pair I got, which is good. Ship the old ones back to Amazon. Another day, another dollar. Trying to install this proved to be quite a challenge due to the fact the pegboard was in two pieces, meaning the mounting holes were right beside each other, causing some issues with the wall anchors. Okay, so after some hassle, pegboard is now installed. Blank canvas. I actually mounted magnets to the back of the chargers. So I can just pop them up anywhere I want. Here are the rest of the magnets here. Yeah! So honestly, I seriously underestimated the amount of energy and time it'd take on figuring out a configuration for the pegboard that was aesthetically pleasing as well as being functional. I had to cut down this time lapse quite a bit and didn't even include the segment from the night before where I tried to configure it. But after all is said and done, it's finished. So I'm just leaving it how it is. Okay, after a lot of hassle, the pegboard is now finally up, but I have to run all the components I want on the side of the wall, including these lights, um, the chargers, the power bar, the Govi lights and such, and plug everything in. This ought to be fun. 
quite difficult because I have to hold it up with one hand. I'm actually going to try to tape it temporarily. Good old gaff tape for the rescue here. Oh, it's holding. Let's hope it doesn't come down crashing into my face. Woo! All right, I gotta be quick with this. We're now working to screw the other side in. <laughs> She's in. Let's take this gaff tape off. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to take all the cables running down the wall and make them nice and tidy. As of right now, the cable's running down and underneath, which this will all be hidden. We're gonna put all these supporting cabinets back, get everything finished up. Getting ever closer now to the final drawer categorized assembly. Yeah, feels good. Okay, update time. Right now I'm working on the cable management for this corner. I swear it's just cable management is 30% of my life making cables look tidy and wiring up all these electronics. Okay, so in the final stretch now, doing the cable management for the video board, cleaning up all my components, and gonna put the labels on the cabinets. <sighs> Getting close. Okay, all the labels are now attached. Now we have the RGBIC neon rope light. Big thanks to Govi, which is gonna take care of the issue in which we get this reflection here of the individual lights. Okay, and now the new Govi neon desk lighting has been installed. As you can see, we are no longer seeing those hotspots in the LEDs because it's like a perfect seamless strip of light. So this is the final setup now with the lighting and cable management completed of the FlexiSpot desk. Check this thing out. It actually goes super high. I was rather quite impressed with the height this thing is able to go. Wow, look how high that is. That is reaching like halfway up my wall. Just absolutely madness how tall this thing is able to reach. So I've actually thrown a Govi Lira behind this concrete pillar here with the red light setting for some extra mood. So this is a light I've actually been meaning to talk about. This is the screen bar halo and this is the wireless controller. Right now it's on brightness so we can dim it turn it on, turn it off, you can even change the color temperature, make it a very warm light, or we can make it a very cool white light. I like to keep it somewhere in the middle. But yeah, really loving the screen bar halo. It's illuminating the full desk. In terms of other lights, I'm running these two sunset lamps on the corner. One illuminating the Banksy Life is Beautiful pick. Got some tripods hanging there, but I've mostly cleaned out this area and it's now just this desk set up here. And this is where I keep the upcoming product for the shoots as well as up here. Stuff coming up that I'm working on, but this is pretty much the room now with the new setup. Super clean, super awesome. Okay, so we're on the balcony now. I really wanted this place to feel like a bit of an oasis in the city. So there's a ton of plants, a ton of greenery. We got the Govi outdoor neon lighting strip that is draping the entire balcony barrier right to the end. We got the barbecue, a little cactus. Of course, you can see inside to the studio from here. It's a really fun place to hang out. I'm really happy with how it came out. We got the fire pit going right now, which I've done a video on. And this is my view from the balcony. Downtown Toronto, in the heart of the entertainment district. It's a pretty awesome place to hang out. And I'm absolutely loving the vibes now that everything is finished and completed. 
super awesome. Okay, so we're gonna step into the actual studio now, continuing the tour. So I have done a dedicated video on the Govee curtain lights. I kind of have them all mounted to the top here. And as you can see, when I open my sliding doors, it kind of just drapes them to the side like so. so it's all worked out. But yeah, after a lot of hard work and determination, this is the final studio. Now, we'll just do a full 360 here. So I got this new neon sign, which I mentioned before, I will be doing a full neon buyer's guide. And I also redid this wall, but this one turns on, it puts out so much light that I actually had it off right now, but it lights up the entire kitchen. I can put it to 10%, but this one does tend to give a lot of flicker. So I don't love doing that. Anyways, back to the main space. So we have our Govi curtain lights set to a sound reactivity mode, but let's maybe change them. Let's find the right vibe for now. I do love this shapes mode as well. The meteor shower one is pretty chill to keep on the background. You know what, maybe let's just keep it on the, uh, the dream color one. That's one of my favorites for sure. So this is the studio space which I work in. Everything is now cable managed from what I was working on before. We have the full desk setup. The full streaming setup is now done. Everything has been nicely cable managed in the back there, which is great. All the cables have been run underneath the desk as you saw me working on before. And this, the final production area pegboard is now finished. Let's turn on the lights, which this is an awesome work light. I have done a video on that. I've done a video on mostly everything here, but this is the final production area now. So much cleaner than what it was before. You know, I had this huge printer taking up so much space. So I've gotten so much space back by removing that printer, putting up the pegboard for the stuff that I use most often, and then organizing all of my gear into these cabinets here, which are all fully labeled, such as camera and battery, uh, hard drives and media, audio, just to give you a few peeks. Everything I need is here now. I'm trying to really take a minimalist approach and just keep the things that I use most often. Everything has now been nicely cable managed to into these uh, boxes. I'm a big fan of using these cable management boxes. Otherwise everything would just look a mess. The three HDMI cables are running along the baseboards all the way around running into this box right here for when I do live streaming and such. All the feeds are there to get the multicam setup going as well as the monitor going. So I'm really happy with how everything turned out. It's all cable managed. I got my hypercubes. I've decided to put the big hypercube under the desk and I fit the two hypercubes into these shelves. I had to drill them out and run power from behind there. This is everything with my desk. I have done a full desk tour video going through all the components of my desk and my workstation, what I use. I'm running the Nano Leaf lines up on the roof, which you can check that video out. We got Color Light Hexagon Pro tiles, video on that. We got the Color Light Mix tiles. These are really cool. Uh, these are magnetically attached now to the pegboard, which is one of my favorite parts of having this, this thing is that I can just, you know, take stuff out, move it around, reconfigure. Up here is where I have the projector mounted. I'm rocking the XGME Horizon Pro 4K currently. That shoots at a projector screen that comes down, which I've also done a comparison video on this projector. And look who's decided to make an appearance. This is Frankie. Say hi, Frank. I get a lot of questions on the hypercubes. They are definitely one of my favorite pieces in this space. And I do plan to be doing a new video on them. They do make a smaller, more accessible cube in terms of price point. And they're working on a bunch of new cool products. I think I saw like a pyramid version of this as well as some other cool stuff in the works. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys have questions in this space. As I've mentioned, I've done videos on almost all the gadgets and lighting in this space here, including this table, which is one of my favorites. It transforms into a full-size dining table. So it goes from here and raises up and it can extend outwards. Pretty awesome. Got our floating moon lamps. We got tons of neon signs. As I said, I will be doing a neon sign buyer's guide video. And just maybe if we're lucky, we'll get more cameos from Mr. Frank over here. Isn't that right, Frank? <laughs>